I think for anybody who's interested in airlines or aviation, the IATA AGM is an absolute must for the very simple reason that it brings all the airline chief execs and all the aviation execs together at once. Uh, for some reason, maybe because it's their representative body, they're on the board of governors, they actually own the organisation, so to speak, they all come to this event. It is the works outing for the airline industry and it's a chance for the CEOs to meet, to gossip, to exchange views, to chit chat. Uh, you see them in a more relaxed for format and fora than you ever see them anywhere else. And you see them all. And they do all come here. And that's the fascinating part about it. Um, they're all equals. The big airlines, the small airlines, those. It's fascinating. At various levels, yes. At the Board of Governors level in terms of IATA itself, whether it's on safety or environmental protections or setting standards or the rules for IATA, yes, absolutely. And, and I think that's the formal part, but that's not the most important part, for me anyway. The most important part is that they come to exchange views, uh, security issues, laptop bans, new airports, new regulations, new taxes. Uh, those sort of issues are at the core of this industry. Now, they have to be careful, of course, because uh, they are all competitors. So there are very strict com anti-competitive measures in place about what can be discussed, what can be talked about, the issues on the table. That said, there's no doubt about it. In, if there's one airline event I absolutely must attend, it's the IATA AGM. Well, I could say, of course, it was the airline CEOs. I could say it was the high level of aviation debate. I could wax lyrical about the importance of the industry. I could go on for hours about all of those things. Or I could just simply admit the truth of the subject. Hmm. Time for a drink. Oh, my word.